what's going on? Um, this is going to be one of the sketchier reviews that I've done, simply because I am on a two foot wide path, just like carved into the side of a mountain here, and it's pretty cheerful. But, I mean, I can't not memorialize this. It just looks fucking incredible. So, uh, today I'm going to talk about the new Grima record, Rotting Garden. Um, Grima is a Russian duo. Um, they are, surprisingly, this blew me away, they are the two dudes in the band Second to Sun. If you're not familiar with Second to Sun, um, I guess a convoluted way of describing it would say, would be saying that they, uh, they sound like what would happen if two deathcore aficionados made black metal. Um, and I don't really mean that the project itself sounds like deathcore. It's more that it's got a lot of, I mean, it's like really high production quality, um, very proficient musicianship, uh, really like clean, angular, groove-oriented riffs. Long story short, it just really blew me away that the people in that project are responsible for this project, because this one is definitely just black metal. Um, atmospheric black metal, very like nature-oriented, um, as evidenced by their album art and their song names. So... It, you know, it really surprised me because I just wasn't expecting this level of black metal panache from the people responsible for Second to Sun. And I like Second to Sun. It's just not um, true by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so you just kind of have to go into it with that. But this isn't a Second to Sun review. It's a Grimma review. So let's talk about Grimma. Grimma travels in the uh, the same the same vein as um, bands like Wolves in the Throne Room or um, Ash Borer just really like dense melodic riffs um very high-pitched vocals like shrieked it's almost surprising that a man is responsible for um these vocals just because they're so high up in the register which is another i don't know i, I feel like that might be another carryover from from the the deathcore thing because i know a lot of deathcore vocalists who practice their vocals incessantly because say what you want about the genre but it, it is very um I don't know, vocally taxing. Uh, it requires a lot of skill, a lot of practice, and I know a lot of other extreme metal vocalists do not really practice to the same extent. So, um, I don't know, that might be a carryover because these things are just high as high can be, and they're really powerful too, you know? They're not like thin and, and whispery. They're just very, very in your face. So, uh, I got into Grimma like last year through... Um, they have another full length and then I think they have an EP. So I was listening to those. It was my first exposure to the band like early last year. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And I, I enjoy this. Didn't really like click, you know, it didn't have that spark where I was like, oh, I have to hear more of this. But, you know, they were on my radar and this record came out and I listened to it and I was like, okay, I get it now. This is, this is objectively really fucking good. Um, it's just got this, this quality to it. You know, it's, it's very mystical. Um, very melodic as I said so it's like it's like got that memorable quality to it and something that's really cool about this record is that they incorporate uh accordion um it might just be on the one on the title track but um I mean they use it to good effect it's got uh there's one part where it's like carrying the main melody and then there's another part where there's like accordion sweeps almost going over a riff which sounds ridiculous um but it works and you know I'm already familiar with with Russian black metal to an extent, and specifically the band Put, um, I think that's the American pronunciation, I don't know how to say it in Russian, I just have no idea, the Cyrillic alphabet is literally another language to me, but um, they make heavy use of an accordion, like, on every single song, so, like, and I like that project a lot, so I was I was used to the, uh, I guess, the, the shtick, and it didn't really, like, shock my, shock my ear as much as it might someone who's uninitiated, but you know, it's still an interesting choice. I think of the accordion as a very, like, upbeat instrument. So to see it used like this is cool. It's very unique. It's memorable. And, uh, I mean, it works. At the end of the day, it just works. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I highly recommend this album. I think uh, I should probably start saying this less because it's just becoming a trope in my videos. But... I really think this is going to be one of my albums of the year, um, especially because it came out so early. I'm going to have a lot of time to listen to it again and again and really get it ingrained in my head. 
Uh, I'd be surprised if this didn't at least make the top 20, but we'll see what the rest of the year holds. Um, you know, if, if I sit down and I want to listen to a record from this year and we're, you know, barely through January, um, it's going to be Transylvania or Grimma or the New Wardruna. And I might even do a review of the New Wardruna because it's metal adjacent, but that's, uh, that's, that's another video. So I'm just going to continue my hike, keep enjoying this, and I hope you guys have a great weekend.